Okay, so it looks as though we have access to four total servers, which is always promising to see. Account is in login protection. Please try, okay, well, we're off to a great start thus far. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total classes. We have the sword mage, then we have the blade master, then we have the vanguard, then we have the gunslinger, we have the spirit shaper. <laughs> oh. Okay, and then we have the occultist, and we have the assassin. I am going to go occultist here because, I mean, I feel an obligation to. I love mage classes, and uh, I get to use a giant stick with a curved blade at the top of it. Like, who? how, how, how does that not sound like a good time? This right here is the stuff of nightmares. And I'm sorry for making you guys experience this with me. But this character creator does allow for quite an extensive amount of control over your character and their overall size. Is this, uh, this is a new area. This is an entirely new area, a new starting all right, that is, it's about time. I feel like the last time I played this was back in 2019. And in the several years it had been online, it had always had the same introduction to the game. It is about time that they changed that. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is a very beautiful area thus far. I feel like this is the, the beginning of a Zelda game or something. Right? Like, I'm not the only one getting that impression. Those are some weird water effects down there. All of the textures are just kind of popping in and loading really poorly. Oh my, what happened to her texture? Uh, this has not always been like this, right? This is... That was a whole nother level of distorted. Because this is what she looks like. She looks very different. Oh my god, this looks absolutely atrocious, guys. Actually, I I have not seen a game look this poor. Ever. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. The tutorial literally takes, I don't know, 30, 40 entire minutes to get through. So, since there is no way of skipping this tutorial, I am going to stop the recording here and I am going to do all of this off screen and then pick this back up when I make it through it all. A few moments later. Okay, it looks as though there is an invisible wall present here. I'm assuming it's on both sides that prevent you from exploring any of this, even though it looks really, really cool. I can see here that there is an actual square that isn't even blended properly into the background. Oh boy. See, look at look at the character model there. It looks substantially better. I don't know, it's just confusing to me because the characters look so good in game. Oh, I, uh, she undressed me and redressed me wait did my makeup change did my did my actual face change i feel like i i didn't used to have orange eyebrows i mean this is the first game that kind of just has you thrown into like max level gear max level abilities i do always find it a little bit confusing though because i really have no idea what i'm clicking but i guess this gives you kind of like a a look at what your character will be like, or your class will be like, the uh, the further you make it through the game. I do want to note though that uh, I used to think that Revelation Online had exceptional combat, but after playing other more recent games, MMOs, I just feel like this is so uh, this is so slow and much more tab target oriented than I remember. 
I remember Revelation Online was touted as being like a, a brand new hybrid action MMORPG. I know there's like an action mode, but it's still the same type of combat. Thank God for uh, auto pathing in this game because outside of just mashing my one through. <laughs> what was that? Oh my goodness. This would be a little more climactic if there was voice acting going on here and there were screams of terror and horror. Maybe if he did a little haha -ha or wah ha ha or something. Anything really. Oh, and then it takes me back here. So, okay. Here's what happened. They decided, you know what? You know how it takes people approximately 30 minutes to make it through the tutorial, the newbie area and Revelation Online? Yeah, let's tack on an extra 15 to 20 minutes worth of tutorial because that sounds like a great idea to get people interested in the game. If they're not hooked by a 30 minute tutorial, maybe they'll be hooked by an almost hour long tutorial. What? Exodia? Wait. I... I just hatched a harpy cat girl? So there are battle companions now. Do they like... Do they help fight? Then? Or is this just like a companion that loots items on the ground? She's adorable. I don't know... I don't know if I've ever seen uh, a harpy Neko girl before, but... Sure. She does, in fact, help you fight. Okay, cool. What is Aquaman doing in this game? This game, guys, is so, so weird. Running a complete straight line. Gotcha. So my little pet is tanking. Well, that's handy. That was unbelievably difficult. I can't believe I needed a guide on how to complete that activity. I know you guys can't see it, but over here on the side of the screen, every quest has in red text, click Control F to quickly complete the quest. So it is essentially promoting auto pathing and auto questing. What an, uh, an innovative feature. I saw another player. It's the first player I've seen thus far. <sighs> This is such a weird game, guys. <sighs> this game has not aged very well. Like, graphically, the game still looks good. But, uh... Overall, in terms of gameplay... Man. This game has not aged very well. For what do you cultivate your abilities? So I have to be entirely honest here. To protect those deer to me, why as an end unto its, to be honest, I'm in it for the money. I mean, let's be honest here, aren't we all? Oh my God, I'm level 19. All right, so this is going to be the first true test of my abilities. Um. Yeah, this game is really weird, guys. Okay, so I, I don't want to be, you know, that guy here that complains about the leveling experience, but I logged on, I did my daily for this, it got me two level ups, and then it tells me immediately after that I'm required to re-enter it for my story quest, and then this is the only way I went about leveling from 21 through 25 yesterday because I wanted to do the Seeking Spirits quest because that gives a lot of XP, but unfortunately there is no one else playing this game and therefore was no one to party with. So like literally leveling right now is essentially just logging in to do this quest and then just logging out. Now, I will admit that the abilities in this game, though, still look really, really freaking cool. So, the gear, the outfit, the apparel that I equipped yesterday, or the day before, uh, it expired. It was, it was only a 24 hour long redeem, unfortunately. Speaking of, I did 
actually get another daily outfit. So I guess that's kind of cool. It's going to allow me to periodically change what I look like. I've learned how to fly now. So that's kind of cool. The, uh, the, the aerial aspect of this game to me was one of the biggest appeals. Uh, I really enjoyed the flying aspect of Ion and the aerial exploration and the aerial combat both in Perfect World. Uh, unfortunately, you do not possess the ability to engage in combat whilst airborne. The the flying does look pretty cool, especially when uh, when using your stamina to speed up. Although, if I'm going to be honest here, Swords of Legends Online does it a lot better. I would like to note, though, guys, I I have been playing this from level one through almost level thirty thus far, and do you know how much I've actually engaged in combat? Maybe. 10 minutes worth, that's it. I've been recording this for, this is my third day recording. And the sheer amount of time that I have just kind of spent AFK running from location to location, it baffles me. It honestly, I am, I am legitimately baffled at how little participation I have in this game. I, I feel like this is, the PC equivalent to a mobile game and so that I really only have to come back to the game itself pretty much to just kill the uh, the odd monster in a in like a dungeon or something and I've only had to do one dungeon and that uh, that challenge mode thing three times now <laughs> speaking of I'm back here again I mean, I got a level up. I'm, uh, I'm perfectly content with doing absolutely nothing to level up in this game. This guy right here is doing, in essence, what I want to do with this game, and that is just turn around and go the other way. He looks, uh, he looks about as enthralled with the game as I am. You know what? I'm kind of glad that this guy is tanking because. There is just an exorbitant amount of enemies just literally coming at me from every direction. Is that guy on fire? Confirmed, that guy is on fire. I mean, at this point, I'm pretty much just... AFK AoE. It was like a 30 second duration on my ability. So I can pretty much just sit here for as long as I realistically want to. This is unfortunately pretty much how I've spent the last, I don't know, 40 minutes playing Revelation, auto pathing to a location, just browsing through the the comments and the the latest YouTube video I did and replying to comments. It it is it has been a rough day so far. Okay, here's the thing. I was level 21. And I hit a wall. I could not continue with the quest that I obtained until I hit level 25. I was like, okay, I can do that. I can hit level 25. Now, it recommended you go and do the, the spirits... Spirit Seeker quest line, I think is what it was called. Seeking Spirits, there we go. So I couldn't find anyone to do that with. It requires three players to do. Now, I managed to level 225 by doing the daily dungeon quest that was available. Now, after hitting 25, I continued with the story a little bit and I hit another wall. Now, that wall I managed to get around because I had items that were gifted to me in my inventory that leveled me past the 29 wall I hit. And now my level is currently 36. I have done all of the story related questing. I have done all of the side quests around the area with the exception of the, the dailies. But at the, at the same time, I have hit 36 and now I hit another wall. And that is telling me 
I need to get to level 39. Now, there there is very little in terms of actual content to do in this game. At the end of the day, I do maybe 10 minutes worth of gameplay, 30, maybe 40 minutes of auto pathing around, and then I hit a wall that requires I log out for the day and then log in the next day to do the dailies that are available and to get that little bit of extra XP that will get me towards the goal of 39 currently. I'm going to hit another wall after I hit 39, whether that be 45 or 49, and I'm going to be required to jump through the same hoops and do the same thing all over again. Now, I just, like at the end of the day, that to me does not sound at all inviting as a new player. I like how they give you a friend now because there's no people in the game to play with. They just give you a friend. Yeah. And this actually acts as another player almost because like 90% of the time I'm fighting, the little cat girl harpy takes all aggro from me. She has literally infinite stats. Like. She was tanking 10 monsters and taking zero damage. And she can hold aggression better than the majority of tanks in our parties for dungeons and raids. So she requires no healing. They're, they're like, you know what? No one's playing the game. So let's just give you this character to make up for the lack of player participation. <sighs> I mean, honestly guys, I don't really know what to say other than I have, this is the third day in a row that I've played this game. Maybe it's the fourth day in a row that I've played this game actually. And every day I get to a point where I just, I cannot play anymore. And I like, I don't see how that is a model that you should be pursuing as an MMO. As an MMO, you should be trying to get players into the game to play as frequently as possible. But the sheer amount of grinding that is necessary to progress in any capacity in this game just completely turns you away from it. Because I, I really want to play for longer than an hour and I'm just unable to. But the game still, to date, looks really damn good. Granted, not as good as Swords of Legends Online as an example here, which is coming out very, very soon and is going to be this game's main competitor, not that you could really count it as a competitor. The combat is actually so much worse than I remember. The questing, the grinding, everything about this game was just hugely disappointing to come back to. And I can understand why no one is left playing this game. This was just severely disappointing to me. And I really, really doubt I will ever come back to this, even to test it out in the future with how bad it has become. But that is just my impression of the game in 2021. I know that this game still has a, probably about a couple hundred players that still actively play it. So for those of you that are still playing, good on you. I'm glad this game is still being actively, not actively, but still being developed. But let me know down in the comment section below if you still play this, if this is something that looks like it'll still appeal to you or what your final judgment of the game was and why you think like that. Because honestly, I would love to know, and I'd love to know if I missed out on anything, especially concerning leveling. So leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.